Uh, okay, I'm at I'm in the green zone here, and I'm just uh, there's something here that for years I always see. And I find it a little bit strange. I got somebody with me just to explain a little bit more. Isn't it pretty sad looking for a piece of art? Well, I'm no expert on uh, fountains, but I would say that this is probably a uh, correct me if I'm wrong, a you know Greco-Roman revival or something, and uh, typical of the type of fountains that you see in uh, Britain and Europe. And uh, uh, I find it sad that uh, it's been allowed to uh, to disintegrate and be reduced to this sort of single squirt at the top, where yeah. you know it should be having at least three, you know, on each or four maybe even in each direction of the east, south, east, north, south, east, and west. And it just looks, does, it looks sick, sickly. And it's been like this as long as I've lived in Fredericton. And I'm just it looks dead. It doesn't look, it doesn't look, it's a lot, lot of life. It, it looks pathetic. And I don't know if what we have to do to get this fixed. Because uh, I, it's not a very good representation of a fountain, although it is a gorgeous fountain, no question. And of course, the person who it was uh, built for, James Dunn, is, you know, I mean, famous industrialist uh, whose uh, legend lives on in New Brunswick, his name, uh, many uh, arenas and rinks and all kinds of things are named after him. There was even a hospital named after him. Really? So, yeah. Oh yeah, James, James Dunn, oh yeah, they got a arena after him in, in Mupton too. Yeah, so I mean... Uh, so I what's this? How, why, how long is this? I don't know when it was built, but it was presumably after he died. I'm sure that it was probably in the late, in 1960s or 70s. Looks but there's no reason, no reason for it to look like this, and no reason for it to be, continue to be ignored. Every year it's covered up, and every year with a box, you know, and every spring it gets opened up again, and I still, I'm hoping that they're going to fix it. And here we are again in October, and another season's passed, and it's not fixed. So, well, maybe we'll see, next year. We'll see what we can do in the spring. Okay, that's... That's it for a little bit of history in Fredericton.